Here we are at my uh, far from completed model of Bolton on the Water station in Gloucestershire on the Great Western Railway's uh, Banbury to Cheltenham line via Kingham or, um, and uh, it ran through from uh, until the 1960s and uh, I'm using this layout to this, this section of the layout just to introduce my latest uh, creations. This is the 32XX class uh, Barnum and uh, 240 outside uh, framed uh, locomotives. Quite reasonably powerful. They, they got their nickname from hauling the uh, Barnum and Bailey Circus uh, on their touring around um, Britain. Uh, usually double headed and what I've done is uh, I've, I've used Russell's book on the uh, Great Western Railway locomotives and he provided a number of plans because these were rebuilt over a, um, a period of about 30 years and so I've done five variants and this first one over here by the Good Shed that's the first version uh, you can see fairly conventional and I've uh, just used the standard Great Western Railway uh, livery on, on that and uh, it has the tender with the loco number on it 3211 and um, from that uh, the second type was a slight variation they're mainly variations in 3222 there we are that's the second variant and they're this is without the dome and you can see there uh, sorry that's the third variant 3 treble 2 and um, I've changed the frame uh, the outside frame livery to, to dark and we've got a different firebox there as well the second uh, so that 3211 was the second variant um, 3221 uh, 3211 was the first version 32 to one is the second version with uh, uh, mainly just uh, changes of position of various components and then also I found a model somebody made a model of one of these online and uh, the livery they'd given it I thought looked interesting so I've created one in that delivery with the um, with the boiler and firebox uh, black and with uh, the Indian red carried up onto the splashes uh, so that gives us a, another variant and then uh, from that we saw 3222 and then the final variant is the one at the far end let me try and move over to there the far end of the up platform 3223 and that's with the final version of the uh, firebox and with the do dome position and uh, also some other slight additions then and some of the lining removed so these are all going to be released on the 1st of march uh, 2023 just in a couple of days time so if i just click on this one and let's just zoom round and just down a little bit and set uh, i think this is the i have got the right direction no i'm in reverse so here she is pulling some of my models of uh, crocodiles that is the Great Western low, low loaders I've made quite a few of those and a mink and a macaw bee and let's just follow her through see where she's going let's take a free roaming view so the buildings here are as accurate as I could make them with regard to the uh, photographs and such scale plan as I could find from maps etc so that's the bottom on the water signal box and the correct good type of good shed and the track layout but it's all part of my as I say my long running I mean I can still see problems with track here that certainly should be should be there shouldn't it and um, I haven't worked on this for quite some time now and of course this should be fill, filled with farms and farm buildings out into the countryside here but it gives you an idea of the, of 
the layout of Bolton on the water and the station of course is I've modelled it on the one that was built in the 20s that's the one I remember seeing and uh, over here were the coal merchants I remember and up here we're on the road which I haven't put in but the bank leading up to that bridge that's where I used to sit and watch the trains go by <laughs> and uh, so anyway we sent one off on in that direction let's let's send this one off in uh, in its direction and uh, hopefully I'm going to get the right direction no I'm not there we go so it's heading off now heading westwards towards Notgrove is the next station and so these um, 32 double X's mixed traffic and could easily handle quite a variety of, uh, of um, workings here it's just pulling four clerestory coaches which is certainly within its ability and um, just pull back a bit give you an idea of what how they look going along you do get this strange effect with the spokes coming on the frame rate like it's being filmed by an old cine camera you get the station It's only been 18 at the moment, it's pulling away quite nicely. The engine spec is another one made um, especially for the Loka and um, it's really well. Yeah, I'm just looking at the video there, you are getting that stationary look on the spokes of the They are beginning to the bespoke engine spec. Let's go back to free roaming view, pull back a bit and we dive back to oh where are we? The other one that's just slowly making its way and it's heading eastwards, that's heading towards Still on the Wall station. And I think I'll just bring this one to a halt as well. So this uh, new, five new models, uh, I'm going to uh, uh, release them all together and uh, they'll just be listed against a single uh, screenshot on my website. So you'll have to make sure which ones you want to download, though they are very similar. They have the same engine specs, the same characteristics and um, as you might imagine even though there was some slight variation in overall weight and tractive effort over the uh, 30 odd years so built in 1889 uh, Wolverhampton <coughs> and operated I think until about the um, into the 1930s so about a 40 year career fine looking locomotives I think uh, very typically Victorian look so whether you you take one with the red frames for uh, I don't know, for, before the First World War or the dark frames of perhaps the 20s or 30s. It's difficult to tell from the photographs whether they retained their red frames throughout the whole of their lives. So that's why I've included a couple of them. Three of them have the red frames, Indian red, and two have the dark frames um, so that you can juggle about with whatever um, period you like. So there we are, uh, brought on a water bereft of uh, traffic at the moment although remarkably three locomotives I never remember seeing three locomotives there one was always the maximum and when the freight goods train came in it used to get shunted into this goods line and then it would be running up and down the head shunt uh, sorting out the wagons for the different coal merchants and I certainly remember those being really busy so in conclusion then uh, those are my uh, that's my new contribution to trains 
the Great Western Railway, the original 32 double X class of 1889, 240 tender locomotives known as the Barnums. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, brief video introducing this class for trains. And um, if you have, then please uh, uh, leave a like and a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, um, please don't hesitate to post them. And please do subscribe.